What is going on, ladies and gentlemen, Colts? I make a dash and welcome back to uh, my let's play of Psychonauts. Um, let's hop in this elevator. Okay, I probably should have headed in the elevator first. But, um, let's see. Oh, so there's, there's a raven that's pushing the button and turning those stairs into a ramp. Uh, is this where the crow feather actually comes in handy? Um. Oh god. I don't think I can get past it. I think it's, I think it's scripted too. Yeah, I wasn't even touching the floor. Do I have to confuse the thing? I hate that guy. Um oh, maybe I can TK it? Alright, yeah, let's toss him. Yeah, we all do. Uh, let's grab the brain. Something as small as Vernon's brain holds so many boring stories. My gosh, the brain texture is horrible. Um, but, you know, 2005. I hate that guy. Um... So I'm gonna walk around with this crow feather for no reason. Just like the one in your head. She gore? They're too nice. They won't fight. I need killers. I need angry brain. I squeeze them. I poke them. I twist them. What do I have to do to make them fight? Maybe I should try my drill. I'm not gonna bring you any more brains if you're gonna be so mean to them! No matter what I do? No, no matter... what? Not even if I... No, oh, not even if I no, cook you a little... Hey, doctor, no! A little turtle soup? Please, Dr. Lobato, no! <laughs> a nice hot turtle soup, hmm? <laughs> Nothing better on a cold night like this than some boiling hot soup. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Oh, okay. You sure? No! I mean, yes! <laughs> alright, alright. Oh, why don't I just go ahead and heat you up a cup? It's made of turtles! Turtles that you love! Isn't that right, Mr. Pokey Love? Okay, okay. Just say you'll bring him more brains. Well, Come on, add the cuts Maybe I'll just make some for myself. Bring me a good brain, Shigo! Oh, uh, Mr. Pokey Loaf becomes Mr. Smokey Loaf! <laughs> Smokey Loaf! <laughs> when you're a dentist, you have to learn to have a sense of humor, you know. It helps to calm the patients down. That's Sasha and Mia. And he's got himself a little uh, shield What's there. This? Why, it's a nice little precious juicy brain wrapped up in some sort of boy shaped goggly gook. Soon have all that excess tissue removed, and then we can slip that brain into something more comfortable. Shigar! That package General Oleander mentioned has arrived. Please take it up to the holding area and keep it fresh until I'm ready to stick in my thumb and pull out a plum! <laughs> well. The man you're working for is a deranged lunatic. I know! I hate him! But if I don't do what he says, you... You... 
cook your little turtle from the inside out. <coughs> See, your hostage situations like this are always extremely delicate. I'll have to extract Mr. Pokelope from his prison using my psychic powers. After which, this Lobato character should be fairly trivial to neutralize. Yes, because once we get Mr. Pokelope back, he'll tell us what to do. He always tells me what to do. Yes. Sasha, I was hoping you would... Mia, Lily, Raz, you came. Of course I did. She still has we her gotta brain. We got you out of here. Look, the coach must have lured Sasha and Mia here on official Psychonauts business and then ambushed them with sneezing powder. They're completely brainless. I know. I saw their brains downstairs. Listen, first things first. I was thinking about what you said about us making out. Yeah? Oh, man. I'm so glad he showed up. I was just starting to feel slightly less funny. Wait, he didn't just hear. Get away from me! Stop reading my mind! Go rebrain Sasha and Mia so they can help us break this lock! Alright, here's a birthday cake. Okay, then we'll talk about that making out thing later. One boy! That's a moment! That was a moment! This is not a moment! Sheesh! Hey, hey! Let's talk to Mia! Understand, I swear! So is this gonna okay. be like an open mouth kiss or Raz? Go get Sasha and his brains back so you can all bust me out of here. Right. So is this gonna be like an open okay, mouth so kiss? Okay, so let's we'll have to extract Mr. Pokelope from his prison using my psychic powers. Okay. Oh, brains and cards for days. Melton, what can I tell you? You were right. The old legends were true. All right. Um, I can just like walk down there. Come on, Welcome give me a break. Um. Oh, I can't just walk back in there. Uh, so, where's Mr. Pokey, though? Oh, I can seriously just walk right back in here. Come on, where's Pokey, though? Where's my turtle? My turtle! Mr. Pokey, though, if you could move just under that hole there, then I could lift you straight out. Could you do that for me? Huh? Mr. Pokelo, if you could move just Why don't I just move him a little bit? Then I could lift you straight out. Could you do that for me? Huh? Um... How do we get Pokelo to move? Oh god, we're stuck. We gotta watch this cutscene again. Oh my gosh. Please don't make him any That was the last time I'll get caught. Okay. We gotta get Pokey though. Um How do we get him though? How do we move him under the hole? What we can't just like move him under the hole for some reason. What sort of powers do we have? Oh. Let's put that on. It sees me as a birthday cake. Hmm, I wonder what we would use. Okay, Pokelope's out, and I have him in my pocket. Okay, right, let's take Pokelope back up to Shigor here.
<laughs> oh god, really? She sounds like a five-year-old. That's right, baby. Daddy's here. <laughs> Everything's gonna be all right. His voice is amazing. Oh my god. That's what you always say, Shigor. No, this one is really special. It's a fighter. No, oh, just leave it there. And I'll get to it right after I've done with this experiment. Okay. Don't worry. Whose brain is that? Just make sure I can put <gasps> oh my in God. the tank. And Daddy will take care of business. <laughs> oh my God, it's Mr. Pokelope. Wait, is, is that actually Mr. Pokelope's brain? Oh my god, I was thinking they disguised Mr. Pokelope as a brain, worry, but we, it's actually... I'll guard your body and we'll get your brain back really soon. It's doing important work right now. It's on a mission. Mr. Pokelope's brain is huge. Okay, let's head down there. I mean, he just like leaves the door unlocked. I wonder how. It's time to make the soup. <laughs> oh my god, I shut up. Rasputin, recranialization of an adult brain without surgery is... That's a very advanced procedure. How did you know how to do it? Well, I've studied it a little, but Shigor here knows more about handling brains than anyone I've ever met. Really? You know I've been thinking about getting a lab assistant. Shigor, darling, do you <laughs> know where all of the other children's brains are? Well, if you can lead us to them, we can bring them back to their owners immediately. Ahem! Immediately after we break young Miss Zanato here out of her restraints. Mm. Well, mm. I don't think I want to put this bracelet on just yet. Okay. I think Free we Lily. To talk about our relationship. Alright, let's shoot her. Two, three. Okay. Saving the auto save. Point of no return. Finally! If that thing gave me a cowlick, Coach Oleander's gonna burn. At least he never got inside your brain. It's gonna take me weeks to get my rhythm back. Rasputin, you have surprised us yet again. I cannot thank you enough for what you've done. Hey, hey, all in a day's work for a psychonaut. <laughs> Well, Psy Cadet, you mean. Hey, the Psychonauts should be so lucky to get someone like Raz. The brain he's got in there is... is one in a million. Thanks to all of you for bringing it straight to my door. <gasps> Oleander. You! You took all my friend's brains. You turned an innocent fish into a giant monster. You stole all the teachers, derailing my education. And you kidnapped... My girlfriend. Rasputin, this fight is too big for you. Back home, I had to clean up after the elephants. So trust me, I know how to take care of this ugly little pile of... Kids, let the grown-ups handle this. You tall people. Well.
Well, it's official. The genius Where are we? is back. Time to go get ready for my gallery show. Right, we're back down to Edgar. Uh oh, this looks bad. Ah, well, that's good. Someone must have turned off the gas long ago. Oh, oh it's here's carbon what my monoxide. Poor flowers need a little water. Oh, oh God! No, I spilled all my turpentine and acetone. Hey, Boyd! Long time no see! Oh, Mr. Orderly! I did not see you there. I was just taking a little therapeutic walk in the moonlight. Relax, the asylum's closed. We can all go home. Leave? Here? Yeah, this place is for crazy people. And I don't know about you, but I ain't crazy no more. I have to tell you, I'm, I'm feeling pretty Boyd? good. Maybe it is time for us all to move on. What do you think, Boyd? You ready to blow this popsicle stand? Yeah, it's gonna explode now. The milkman's gone. The milkman all the thing is. You guys want to split a cab? Oh god. And the crib wasn't even that clean. I mean, what do I have to do to get those guys to take me seriously? When are you going to shut up and kiss me? Um, I can hear that. I know. Just do it. Surrender. Oh, here work. comes Ford. Who turn on their own? Ha! I don't need the psychonauts anymore. I'm making my own army. Got a word for that? Yeah. Gazoon tight. Huh? Ah! Ah! Wow. Wow. It's like Fight Club. Oh god. Don't tell me they died. Oh, he shielded them. Always in such a rush, Rasputin. It takes years before you're ready for combat of that magnitude. Well, you'd be surprised, Nine. This one's been acing all my extra credit exams. I beat the coach once already, and I can do it again. Darling, that was just a remote projection of the coach. He wasn't as strong as he would be if he were to appear in the real world. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Where's his brain? Oh, probably stuck in one of his plans to take over the world somewhere. <laughs> He's not. My guess is that's. The... Oh God! How's the weather down there? There's a brain tank. Oh god, it's Oleander's brain. Ah, well, finally. 
crap. Alone at last, eh, Rasputin? Glad you're finally picking on someone your own size. Yes, I've been dying for a chance to pick your brain! <sighs> Two can play that game. Yeah, but only one can win. <laughs> Well, that was a really long cutscene. Um, but we will fight him in the next episode. Hey, I have no save option. Oh my gosh, when it auto saved. This is like the final boss. Uh, I wish I had put those uh, brains in the kids first. Uh, I also wish it had told me that it was going to get me to the point of no return before it actually did. But. Um, I guess we'll do the boss fight in the next episode. Um, I make a dash and I'm out.